In this lesson, we're going to be continuing our look at surface areas, and we're going to look specifically at the surface areas of pyramids and cones. So let's begin with the definition. A pyramid is defined as a polyhedron with one face called the base, that is any polygon, and other lateral faces that are triangles which meet at a single vertex. Now the height of a pyramid is the perpendicular distance from that single vertex down to the base. And other times it is all, that height is also called the altitude of the pyramid. So with this we're going to have a slightly different formula for when we go to compute our surface area. Lateral surface areas of pyramids, as defined in Theorem 11.3, is the lateral surface area of a regular pyramid is half the product of the perimeter and the slant height of the pyramid which means that our formula is lateral area equals one-half P and L is the variable we use to talk about slant height. Now the slant height is the face height. So in a square based pyramid you have your altitude which runs into the middle of the shape but the slant height is what's actually on the outside. And then surface area of a regular pyramid is the sum of the lateral area and the area of the base. So our surface area is that lateral area plus the base. So however you calculate the shape of, or the area of that base shape, add it to lateral area. Let's see how this comes out in a little bit of so we're going to calculate the lateral area and the surface area of each of these pyramids. So for our first pyramid here on the left, we have a distance into the middle of the triangle as being 3 root 3. We have a slant height of 9, a side length of 6, and counting the sides, this is a hexagonal pyramid. So let's begin with our calculations. Our lateral area is one half the perimeter times that slant height. So that's one half, six times six is 36, and then the slant height is nine. So half of 36 is 18, 18 times nine is 162. So we have 162 square inches. Now our surface area is going to be our lateral area, 162, plus our base area. Now the base area of a regular hexagon is one-half apothem perimeter. So one-half times that 3 root 3 times the perimeter, which was 36. So... 162 plus 18 times 3 root 3. 18 times 3 is 54. This gives us 162 plus 154 square root of 3 uh, inches squared for that total surface area of the pyramid. Let's take a look at our second one. It offers some different information, so we'll have to pull out what we need. The first thing we have to look at is that we don't know the slant height of this pyramid. But what we can do is take a cross-section of the pyramid where our height and apothem are given to us and calculate what that slant height would be using Pythagorean theorem. So this cross-section is 18 root 3 and 42, and we need to calculate that slant height, which, using our Pythagorean theorem, comes out to a slant height value of 12 times the square root of 19. Now, using that information, we can go about calculating our overall lateral area first. So, lateral area is one-half the perimeter and slant height. So, we have one-half our perimeter is going to be 36 times 6, which comes out to 216, times that slant height of 12 root 19. So, 
half of 216 times 12 is a total of 1,296 times square root of 19. And this is in feet squared. Next, we calculate the surface area. So surface area is going to be this 1,296 square root 19 plus that area of the base, which again is our one-half apothem perimeter. So that's one-half of 18 root 3 times 216. Multiplying these together, we get 1,944 square root 3, which we're adding to our 1,296 square root 19. Now we can go through and find decimal approximations, but I'm liking the exact values here. If you want different, you can run that calculation through a calculator. But this is just looking at our pyramids. We also need to find these values for cones. So let's define by definition is a solid with a single circular base and a single lateral surface that meets at a vertex not on the same plane as the base. Now our altitude, vertex, slant height parts all come into play here just as they did with our pyramids. The lateral surface area of a cone is given in theorem 11.4 and it states the lateral area of a right cone is half the product of the circumference of the base and the slant height of the cone and the surface area of a cone is the sum of the lateral area and the area of the base. So for our slant height, I'm oh, sorry, for our lateral area this is equal to one half times two pi r l. Now the one half and the two are multiplicative inverses, so this will simply come down to pi r l. Now for our surface area, it's that lateral area of pi r l plus the area of the circle, which is pi r squared. So we can apply these in defining surface areas of different cones, just as we had the proper formulas for a pyramid. Let's take a look. Calculate the lateral area and the surface area of this cone. So we know our base, we know our slant height, and that's all we need in order to find this. So, start with our lateral area. This is pi r l. Pi, our radius is 15, our slant height is 25, and 15 times 25 is equal to 375. So in exact terms, we have 375 pi centimeters squared. And that is just the wall the single wall of this cone. Now if we want the total surface area, what we do is we take our 375 pi and we add in the area of the base which is another pi times radius squared. So we have 375 pi plus 225 pi. 15 squared is 225. Add these together and we come out with 600 pi centimeters squared for that total surface area. And again, this is an exact answer. You can find the decimal approximation by multiplying 600 by pi. But these formulas are very similar to those for the lateral and surface areas of prisms and cylinders. So make sure you have these down and are keeping a good list because it's easy to get them confused. You need to keep them straight and working in the right way. And We'll move on to volume next.